Okay, so welcome to the world of pool balls. You probably thought buying a pool table, nice and simple and straightforward, you'll just get a set of balls to go with it. But as with everything in life, it's a little bit more complicated than that. So this video, I'm gonna take you through all the different sorts of balls that you can get. So uh, for English pool table, so two inch size balls, snooker balls to go on that size table, snooker balls to go on a snooker table, and I'll take you through American balls to go onto an American pool table. So stick with it, I'll take you through. It looks probably more complicated than you thought right now, but hopefully I can clear the mists and make it a little bit more easy for you to understand and choose the right set of balls to go with your table. Okay, so let's start off with English pool balls. So these are two inch balls. Uh, to be played on either a six foot, seven foot, or eight foot English uh, pool table. So we're on one of those sorts of pool tables here. Um, and we've got two rows of balls here. So first of all, we've got uh, what we call standard balls. So that's these ones here, reds and yellows, blues and yellows, spots and stripes. And then we've got a row of Aramith balls here. And I'm gonna take you through the differences between them all. So first thing is that these ones are the cheaper set of balls. They're Chinese made. Uh, they're cheaper than the Aramith balls. Um, they, they play a decent game. We sell loads of these sort of pubs, pool halls, uh, because they're cost effective. If you do lose a few balls, some get stolen or some get damaged, it's not too much money to buy another set of these. So, so those are your, your, your sort of standard balls. The Aramith balls are of a higher quality. So they're made out of uh, phenolic resin, uh, and that gives them a really hard uh, c constituent, but also it makes it uh, look more shiny. So they've got a deeper, glossier shine to these than you're gonna get on your standard balls. And the benefit of that is not only do they look nicer, but they cause less wear on your cloth. So because these are more shiny, there's less friction when they're rolling about on the cloth and they'll cause less wear. So that's a benefit of going for these. They're also with the Aramith balls, they also go through a much more stringent quality process so that they're more spherically accurate. Um, because these are used in tournaments, they wanna make sure that they're as precise as possible. And so these balls will play better than those ones. As we go through the different sets, you've got the equivalents of reds and yellows, you've got blues and yellows. So you may be wondering, why, why are there blues and yellows? Well, some people just prefer the look of blues and yellows. Um, but it's if um, customers are buying a red cloth table, then some people fear that a red ball will not show up as well on that cloth as a blue ball. So they'll prefer to go for blues and yellows rather than reds and yellows. But it's just personal choice, it's up to you. Some people say, well, I just want to stick with reds and yellows, they look cool. Even though I've got a red cloth, I'm just going to go for those. Uh, but you, you know, this is an option if you wanted to, to get those. We then move on to spots and stripes. So the difference between these um, is quite um, stark. So let's just compare two similar balls. So there you've got uh, your stripe ball number 10. And you can see how much nicer this one uh, looks, the Aramith ball, than this one. Um, these ones are actually printed, so these are printed um, onto the balls. Whereas on the Aramith ones, it's actually like a stick of rock. So all the way through that ball goes the stripe and goes the number, and it's absolutely rock solid. So um, it's a very, um, it's, a, it's a much more tricky production process to make these balls, which is why spots and stripes in Aramith are so much more than buying just the standard ones. That's the reason for the price difference, and that, that's where the quality comes from in these balls. So they are really nicely made, they look beautiful, and they played it really well. The final one, just to show you on the English balls then, um, is the Pro Cup set. Uh, and this set of balls is used in the majority of tournaments at the moment. So the IPA, uh, so that's the professional pool tour in the UK, um, the World Championships, they're all using um, these balls at the moment. And the difference with them, they are a good deal more expensive. Again, there's a more rigorous process in terms of production, um, but the yellow um, is a paler yellow than the standard yellow. The red is a deeper red than that, uh, than the standard red. The black ball um, has got a stripe, which looks quite cool. Uh, and the cue ball is one of the spotty ones. So um, they're quite different um, as a set in terms of their appearance. I think they look really good. Um, they play fantastically well, um, but they are a good deal more in terms of premium um, if you wanted to buy a set of those to go with your table. So that takes you through all of the English balls. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about snooker balls. Uh, and we're gonna start off with the two inch size balls. Uh, these are the full size snooker balls. These are two and one sixteenth of an inch. But let's just talk about uh, the English pool ball version. So these are to be purchased to be played on a English pool table, either six foot, seven foot or eight foot um, English pool table. 
Why would you want to buy a set of snooker balls, you're wondering, to go with the pool table? Well, a lot of customers really like to be able to play snooker on their pool table. It gives you two games uh, from the same table. But also you can tend to find that you might have a friend come round uh, or a relative and they're really into snooker, that's what they're used to playing and they want to have a game of snooker. And if you've got a set of balls to be able to have a game, then off you go, you can give them a game of snooker. So the differences between these two sets, this is a standard set of balls. So like we were talking about with the um, English pool balls, these are Chinese made. Um, it's a really good quality set, but they're a bit cheaper as a result. Or you could spend the bit extra and go on to the Aramith balls and they are of the same equivalent quality um, as their tournament grade pool ball. So if you bought a table and you've got some Aramith pool balls with it, um, I would say go for the Aramis snooker balls to go with it so you're playing with equivalent quality uh, on there. One thing to note on these is the size of the cue ball. So we've talked about this in other videos, but on these, this is using a two inch size cue ball to go with your two inch size um, snooker balls. Whereas on an English um, pool table, the standard tournament size of your cue ball is one and seven eighths of an inch. So I don't know if you can actually sort of see on the camera there, but you can actually see there's quite a bit of a difference between the two. Um, so you'd be playing with a larger cue ball with those snooker balls than you would be playing um, with your pool balls. And you know, if you didn't know that by watching this video, when you get both sets arrive, you'll think, well, why is one different from the other? And that's purely because in tournaments, they will always use a one and seven eighths inch size cue ball. Um, whereas when you're playing snooker, um, it's not really a tournament game. You can be playing on this. So they just give you a two inch size cue ball to go with your two inch size object balls. Okay, so sticking with snooker balls, but talking about full size or normal size snooker balls, these are two and one sixteenth of an inch in size. Um, now, these are really, these are just destined to be played on a normal uh, snooker table. But some customers that have got American pool tables and want to be able to play snooker on them, they'll buy a set of these to play on there. I don't think it's ideal. I don't really recommend it. But if you're desperate for a game of snooker on your American table, you could buy a set of these. Um, but really they're just destined for being played on a proper snooker table. Uh, there's two, two different sets we've got here. The standard uh, set of Aramith balls here. Again, same construction, phenolic resin is what's used between the two. Uh, but then we've got the tournament edition set here. Again, you can sort of tell by the box. It's the same as we have with the Pro Cup balls that we were looking at there. You can sort of tell by the gold and blue box that they come in. Again, the same story with these. These are the ones that are used in the Snooker World Championships, for example. Um, they're made to the very highest standards. Um, so if you have got a snooker table from us, you want to get yourself a top, a top quality set of snooker balls the best you can get well there we are that's the uh, pro cup um, tournament edition uh, snooker balls from Aramith. so on to american balls and it's pretty much the same sort of story really between the difference between the standard balls uh, and the Aramith ones. As you know, these are made of phenolic resin uh, and they're of a higher quality than the standard ones. So standard ones we generally sell in American balls, we'll sell those to sort of pool halls and that sort of thing, places where they may well get lost or damaged uh, and they don't want to invest too much in a set of balls. Uh, for most of our home customers though, they'll always be buying a, a luxury table. They'll be wanting to go for the higher quality balls. Um, so Aramith um, spots and stripes are the standards that we do with those. Then you move on through the Aramith range. So the, you've got this set here and the difference between these two uh, is that these, this is known as the TV set. So this is the same set of balls they'll use uh, on the World Cup of Pool, uh, on the Moscone Cup. And the main difference is that rather than having purple, um, they use a pink and it's just because it shows up better on the TV. The purple can look a little bit close to the black in terms of color on the TV, whereas the pink stands out better. There's also sort of, if you look closely at the, the way that the numbers uh, are formed, it's a sort of like a different font basically on the, on the ball uh, number between the two different balls there. So that's the difference there. Customers that are buying the TV ones is because they are used on the TV and they do look pretty cool. I quite like the pink sort of color, the brown colors that they've used on there. They do look really nice. They're, you know, they are more money, um, but they do look pretty special. So that's the TV uh, Aramith set. Then we're moving on here and this is the Brunswick set. So these balls um, are Centennial Brunswick balls and they come in the Centennial Accessory Pack, which is an upgrade pack that you can buy when you're buying a Brunswick pool table from us. So um, the, um, the standard pack um, has a standard set of balls in it, but you can upgrade to that Centennial Pack from the Contender uh, and you'll get these balls. And the reason that people move up to these is not only because the pack has got a lot of really nice uh, components, but because this has got the kind of the Brunswick trademark darts on it. So these little um, arrows that are on either side of the number here and they appear on every single ball, 
Um, that's a, a, trade, a trademark sort of Brunswick um, uh, sign really. So uh, that's what people are after and that's why they go for these. So they're really nicely made balls. They've got that trademark uh, sign on it and that's what makes those popular. And it also does come with the spotted cue ball as well. Um, like the TV set comes there with the Aramith ones, that's also with the spotted cue ball. Final set to show you is Cyclops. You may not have ever heard of Cyclops, but Cyclops is a Chinese manufacturer. And as you know, the Chinese are absolutely crazy for their Q Sports, and the quality of the product they're producing now really is very, very good at the high end, and Cyclops is certainly at the high end. The differences, again, is that the colors that they use of the balls are different. So the purples are a different shade. So if we compare the purple and the purple from, say, the Aramis Standard Pack, um, it's just got a, a more lighter, sort of lilac-y shades to it. And a lot of the balls are different. So where on there, the, the blue that's used on this, between the stripe and the spot, uses the same sort of blue. On these, they don't. They use uh, two different sort of bluey colors on there. So you've got this kind of very light cyan type of color, and you've got the blue here. So the colors on these are a bit different, um, and they, they do play really, really well. Uh, and one of the things is the, um, the diamond tables that we sell into commercial locations, uh, the smart tables, the Cyclops ball is the ball that is designed to work in them. And the reason for that is the coin uh, mech version on there has got a laser sensor that actually puts uh, a beam of light through the ball and it then senses that this is the cue ball and returns it to the bulk end for you to be able to start your game again. Uh, most, well, nearly every well, every other commercial application uh, of a pool ball in American pool will actually use um, a magnet inside the ball, so it's sort of weighted, and that's how the coin mechanism tells the difference between it being a cue ball and being the object ball. For purists amongst pool players, they would always like to use a normal quality pool cue ball to play with because it's going to play more naturally. Even in a, a coin mech table, you can then use one of these Cyclops cue balls. So that's the key difference with this. So any customers buying a commercial uh, diamond smart table from us will be buying a set of Cyclops balls to go with that because that's what you need to work in the coin mechanism. Okay, so I hope that's cleared up the differences between all the different sets of balls. Obviously, I've shown you quite a few different sets of balls uh, in this short film. If you're buying a pool table from us, then in the listing for your pool table, it will show you the different types of ball that you've got as options. So there'll be photographs of them, there'll be a drop-down menu so you can see what the prices are and what the availability is of each of the different sets, dependent upon the table you're looking at. And the thing is, different manufacturers will offer you different options. So some will always come with Aramith, for example. Some will give you an option of having the standard sort of Chinese-style balls uh, with it for zero cost, but then you can upgrade to Aramith if you wanted to, or upgrade to Spots and Stripes, or upgrade to Aramith Spots and Stripes. So look at the individual table you're interested in buying, and the ball options will be available on the menus with that. Obviously, all of these balls that we've got here as well are available for you to buy separately. So if you have bought a table, you've bought a set of balls with it, but you fancy, oh, I'd like to get a set of blues and yellows in Aramith, or they're listed on our website, you can just order them through the website, or you can always pop down to the showroom here and pick up a set. If you want to see how they play differently, then we've got all the different sorts of balls are out on all the tables here. So you can grab a queue, grab a friend, have a few frames, play with the different sets of balls and see the difference for yourself before making that choice uh, of the set of balls to go with your table. We've covered off pretty much all balls, but there are some others that are available. Again, we've got them listed on our website. You can get marbleized versions of balls. You can get something like a granite effect. Aramith make a really nice sort of set of uh, sort of stone effect balls. Um, it's like special edition. So, you know, have a, have a browse through the website, see if there's anything that sort of takes your fancy if you want something a bit different to go with your table. So hopefully that's cleared uh, it, this all up for you. If you need any help and advice, as I say, you can always give us a call here at the showroom or pop down and see us and we'll give you a hand.